put in clips of Kamala Harris stating things. I don't need politicians to state things. I need politicians to do things. When I met with Kamala Harris after she summoned me, I said to her straight up, you talk out two sides of your neck and we don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Kamala Harris. Before we get into this, I want to just play this real quick because uh, this is the lady that uh, that uh, said that it was staged. Yeah, staged. And I think she deleted the video and put out an apology. <laughs> yeah. That shit was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Oh boy, this was gonna be good. What's up, beautiful people? My brothers and sisters. Shout out to them beautiful patriots around the world, man. Hope y'all are having an amazing start to your week, man. That your week is filled with blessings, smiles, good times, love, more peace, man. Because right now, people are just going through it, man. People are struggling. You never know what somebody's going through, man. So we got to start this thing off right. And I want to tell you guys that I love y'all and I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. Your family, your kids, your friends, the neighbors, the strangers around the world, man. You know, we slide. I got my... I got my, my shirt on today with holes in it, you know? I don't care. I'll show you the holes. Look look at the holes on my shirt. I got holes all in this shirt, man. You know, my daddy gave me this shirt. Good times, man. My daddy used to go to that thrift shop and get all these polo, the, the, the college shirts. I mean, the best name brand shirt you could think of. My daddy came home and spent $10 and came home with like three, 400 things. <laughs> Good times, man. But I still wear... All the shirts he's giving me, even they have holes in them, I don't care, man. I miss my dad so much, y'all. I know y'all miss y'all loved ones, too, man. We are living in a very, very fast time travel. I want you to know that, man. We're we, we here today, and you never know when we're going to be gone. So just, you know, don't, we, don't take time for granted, man. Love on your loved ones. Keep being amazing parents. Keep being amazing leaders, mentors, right from wrong. And as you can see now, everything is terrible. The, the woke... The woke has, has, I mean, look at the woke culture. You know, people are now scared to send their kids to school. You know, people are struggling. Look where we're at in America, man. Complete, completely broken. America isn't America anymore, man. We are declining. You know, not even just as a, a, Americans. We're declining as the, a, a society, as the world is just declining, man. You know? But we are in a fight to get our country back. You know what I'm saying? We are in a big fight to get our country back. But boy, this thing gets better and better every single day, man. And I don't care how the, the media is going right now. There's a lot of brainwashing going on, as you can see. They are trying their hardest for Kamala Harris, man. They're going with this identity politics, gender, race card. She's not black. She is black. She's Indian. She's Asian. I don't know. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what your gender or race is, man. Can you get the job done? Are you qualified? Simple as that. You know, and I tell y'all, I don't care about no race card, man. I love y'all. One one love to the human race. And that's just what that's my that's what I believe in. You know, one love to the human race, man. Simple as that. And we just it, not, I don't want to if you got something to say about that, that's your opinion. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But that's where I stand. Bam. You know. But there's a lot of big things going on right now, and people are struggling, man. You know, businesses are shutting down. People are trying to put food on the table for their kids. You know, people are uh, disability, you know. There's even people that made the ultimate sacrifice. Veterans. First people that are just getting treated like, like, you know. But, oh, this is open. Come on in. We got everything for you. Come on in. But what about we the people? You know. Man, I tell you, it's getting terrible out here. But. Amanda Seals, race hustling, race baiting, woke. Amanda Seals is not even on board with Kamala Harris. Ah, the tide is turning. And this honeymoon stage is coming to an end, y'all. And there's going to be a lot of more people speaking out. 
Just watch. Just watch. But they're going to have to come up with something big this upcoming August, man. They're going to have to come up with something big this upcoming August. Pull something out the back. A lot of people are saying Michelle Obama. A lot of people are saying this and that. Um, but just watch. And watch how the convention goes. You know, they're going to be trying to get the wokest of the wokest. They're going to be trying to get uh, uh, um, colored black people, rappers. I mean, it's going to be all kind of nonsense. Just watch. Don't, don't, I can't say I didn't warn you now, but just watch. But Amanda Seals uh, is not on board with uh, Kamala. And you would think, you know, her background and, and what she stands on, she would be on board. It's not. Let's go and get into it, man. But again, I love you guys, man. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. People are struggling right now, man. People are going through it right now. You know? We are not, America isn't America anymore. And right now, anything could happen. Anything could take place. That's, that's, the, that's the scary and sad, sad part about it. So prayers for America. Prayers for you guys and your family. Prayers for Trump and his family. We, don't, we, we just don't know what could happen any, any time from now. You know, you've seen what just took place this July. A very historic month. You know, people dropping out, people uh, shooting at, 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 you know. Things getting dismissed like you, it's been a, it's been a very, very eventful month, man. I hope you all are understanding what's going on. And right now they are they're, they're They even Kamala's me, their media team just got in trouble earlier today for for disinformation of what they're spreading on J.D. Vance and Trump. And even uh, celebrities saying celebrities endorse uh, uh, them for white guys on Zoom call. Like it's they're 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 in big they're in big trouble, man. And that brainwashing and all this stuff that they're, they're they're trying to help her out, it, it's not gonna cut it. I'm telling you, it's not gonna cut it. And I do believe Trump's uh, media team needs to get a, just a little a little bit better um, on platforms, especially X right now. As X is one of the leading platforms. Of uh, what everybody's following besides YouTube. So, man, but let's get into it. Let me stop all this talking. I done talked about eight, ten minutes. God. Everybody came here on there talking. Y'all be like, Rick, shut up. Shut up, Rick. Shut up. Put in clips of Kamala Harris stating things. I don't need politicians to state things, I need politicians to do things. When I met with that was no, nah, no, nah, look, that was not nah, look now that's right there. She put her big feet down, right? She put both of her big toes down right there, right there. She put both of her big toes down. I hope y'all hearing this now. This is coming out of Amanda Seals mouth. When I met with Kamala Harris after she summoned me, I said to her straight up. You talk out two sides of your neck and we don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Kamala Harris who's trying to shut me the fuck up. Because I told her straight up that I feel like she is disingenuous in her messaging. And she said to me, well, you're being too critical. And I said, I am a voter. I'm supposed to be critical. That's my job. And I want to see actions. She said, well, how am I supposed to talk about uh, racism in America without talk calling Americans racist? I said, well, first of all, there are many, there are many racist Americans. But there's also policy, legislation, institution, and systems that are racist that need to be addressed. They need to be addressed. And if you're not going to do that in an actualized way and in a loud, bold way, people will never really know where you're coming from. Well, you can't tell me how I feel. So I'm not telling you how you feel. I'm telling you how you sound. Oh, man, they got into a big argument. Yeah, man, we know she's. Yeah, buddy, we know, Amanda, we know. <laughs> Woo! 
Look now, I, 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 look. All I can do is show it to you now. All I can do is show it to you. I can see the comments now. Ah, uh, look at them beautiful. Look at the beautiful people around the world, and then look at the uh, the Biden Harris feet massages in the comments too. They're completely lost too. I know. <laughs> Y'all got to read these. Com I'm telling you, I be reading these comments and I be saying, boy, people are just lost, clueless. Man, they they need to get off that that. that that media, that, that that fake news, that mainstream media has got a hold of them. Got them in a chokehold. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, ah, come on, come on, come on. Ah, let go. Ah, ah, you got me. And they stuck. They stuck. You know how you get in that chokehold? With your, with your, with your, with your, with your brother or your, your, your loved one, they put you in a chokehold, and you just say, ah. And you tap out. Yeah. I'm telling you how you sound. Okay? I mean, the seal is fed up. <laughs> the truth is that you should always, always question your source and what are their intentions. And what you all need to know is that I don't need to do any of this. I don't need to talk about any of this. Put wow. in clip. Wow, now that, now that was powerful. Let me make sure y'all hear that again. And then she, look, she had to think about what she was gonna say right there because she knew what she was gonna say was very, very powerful. You know what I'm saying? And this, this is this one thing I, we, we, we preach on this channel, man. You know, hear, hear, hear it again. The truth is that you should always, always question your source and what are their intentions. And what you all need to know is that I don't need to do any of this. I don't need to talk about any of this. Boy, what do y'all think, man? That, that even woke Amanda isn't is. is, is is boy i'm telling you man oh i tell y'all man the internet is going to make the media right now is, is going crazy right now we have so much to get into y'all there's so much going on man i tell you uh fred trump his nephew whoever that fella is we just did some information on uh some on him it, it's getting crazy man boy it is getting crazy, man. I ain't lying to y'all. It is getting crazy. But uh, that's Amanda for you. You know? But uh, Amanda is cor is 100% correct, though. You know? You know I know there's going to be the, you know, the weirdos and the ones that just can't accept it. You know? And uh, even the Trump people that are just really, really Trump deranged. You know? And uh, they missed they missed Biden are, are, are going to come in the comments with all kind of nonsense. But, you know, just being real, man. Just being real. Unqualified. Didn't earn it. Yeah. Boy. But anyways, uh, let me know what y'all think of that, man. Comment down below. I love y'all. I am wishing the best in all you guys' life, man, as we go through these crazy, sick, disgraceful, woke times. And as you can see, everything woke has turned to... It has, man. Everything. You know? Simple as that, man. Simple as that. Everything woke... Let's turn to But hey, God bless you all and your families. I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love.